Today we will show you how to maintain the fluid end of the model 600 plunger pumps. Model 600 plunger pumps have four theories. They are the TPA, TPB, TPC, and TPD. The fluid end of these pumps share the same structure. Some of the necessary tools required for working on model 600 plunger pumps include the slide hammer, plunger wrench tool, plunger gating tool, valve lifter tool, valve cover remover tool, and a valve seat puller. You also need a plunger assembling tool, which can only be used when the plunger assembling becomes difficult. Now we are ready to disassemble the pump. First, using the valve cover remover tool, let's remove the cover plates. Plunger pumps of this design have five cover plates, two on top and three on the back. Next, using the slide hammer, we can remove the suction and the discharge covers. There are five of them. Remove the gauge cover. Continue remove the discharge valve springs and remove the discharge valves. Remember to place the discharge and suction springs separately. Then loosen the packing nut. Before we're removing the plunger out of the palm, rotate the input flange until the plunger has pushed outward. Now insert the plunger guiding tool into the palm head. Using the plunger wrench, we can loosen the plunger threads an extension rod is used to help remove the plunger. Be very careful to not damage the surface of the plunger. Then remove the suction valve stop. Remove the suction valve spring and also remove the suction valve. You see we removed all your seal assembling first before removing the plunger and the packing nuts. Now, loosen the board holding the oil seal retainer. Then, remove the oil seal retainer from the bottom side of the power end. Here again, using the wrench, loosen and remove the packing nut. Finally, we remove the packing assembling from the packing nut. Take the O-ring retainer out. It's also called the packing retainer. Next, remove the two O-rings and the backup rings. Then remove the header ring, pressure ring, spacer ring, oil ring, and the vapor ring. The oil ring is also called a stiletto ring. If you want to remove the valve seat, please use the valve seat puller. Here the use of the puller is explained. Place the drawing claw in the valve seat. Then lock the claw in the place with the retainer ring. Now we want to put the puller rod into the drawing claw. Make sure that all threads are tightened all the way to the head. Next, install the valve cover, cylinder, and the washer. Then tighten up the nut. After installing the hand oil pump 9 and bleeding the air out of the 9, we can use the hand oil pump to pressurize the puller until the valve seat is removed. Check the valve insert for any damage and replace if necessary. OK. Now we are ready to reassemble the pump. First, install the valve insert. You need to attach the valve insert tightly to the valve body. 
Next, we install the packing. Install the wiper ring in the packing nut with the ring lip facing towards inside. Then insert the wire ring, spacer ring, pressure ring, and header ring. Beware of the back and the front side of each ring. Insert two O-rings and backup rings in the O-ring retainer, starting with the O-rings on top and the backup ring at the bottom. Carefully tap the O-rings in the packing nut. Do not damage the O-rings. Install the six valve seats into the pump head and pump the valve seats with a copper hammer. Install the suction valve into the pump head. Then install the suction spring. Hand install the suction valve stop in the group in the pump head. Using a tool, place the suction valve stop perpendicular to the plunger. Install the discharge valve and the discharge spring. Lubricant all rings with grease. Coat the threads with thread lubricant. Add oil on the packing. Hand tighten the packing nut into the pump head. Using a wrench, screw it all the way in until tight, then backing it off a half turn. Add sealant around the bolts. Install the oil seal retainer in the back of the power end. Tighten the bolt holding the oil seal retainer, then install the oil seal cover. Tighten the bolt holding the oil seal cover. Before installing the plunger, Rotate the input flange until the plunger has pushed outward. Lubricate the plunger threads. Add oil and the plunger head. Insert the plunger into the pump head. Continue bumping the plunger until the threaded ball approaches the crosshead stud. Tighten the plunger to the crosshead with the plunger wrench to achieve top. Now we adjust the oil seal retainer as straight as possible with the plunger center line. Tighten the bolt holding the oil seal retainer. Install the suction cover. Bump the suction cover plate until tight. Install the discharge cover. Bump the discharge cover plate until tight. Install the gauge cover. Then tighten each packing. When the packing is tight, continue tighten it one fourth turn. Now we want to show you how to seat the valves with static pressure. You can also use dynamic pressure in the actual operation. First, remove the cover. After we remove the cover, Vent air and fill the pump cavity with liquid. Next, install the cover and start seating the valves. The seating pressure should be two-thirds of the maximum pressure. If you hear a single clap, then the valves have seated. Finally, relieve pressure from the valves. 